Welcome back to Hopper's Homemade. I'm Billy, and if you love good food, you've come to the right place. Today we're going to smoke some beef back ribs using my personal favorite, our Smokehouse Blend. It's quick, it's easy, and most importantly, it's delicious. You're not going to want to miss it, so let's go. So the first thing we want to do before we get our meat prepped is we want to get the smoker turned on. So I've got mine powered up here. We've got the Oklahoma Joe Ryder DLX. Dude, this thing is awesome, man. I got it at 225, so that's just the temperature we want it at. And what we're going to do is get the meat ready and we're gonna bring it out. Today we're using some avocado oil as our binder. So the first thing we do is put a little bit on one side. And then we just rub that all in. Maybe add a little more. Want to give it a nice even coat so that the seasoning has some moisture to stick to. And then we can flip it over and do the same thing on the back. Yeah, and anytime you're preparing ribs, you want to make sure that you always pull off that silver skin that's on the back of them. If you don't, it's really hard to chew through and people will not enjoy the ribs that you serve them. So you always want to make sure to peel that stuff off. Now that we've got it off, what we can do is just sprinkle our seasoning. We've got our barbecue seasoning, our smokehouse blend, and I tell you what guys, it's just this easy because all you got to do is put it on there. Give it a nice healthy coat. All that's going to transfer to delicious flavor as you bite into every bite of these ribs. Now we're going to give this about a minute to set and then we'll flip it over and we'll do the other side. A few minutes later. All right, now that we gave that plenty of time to rest, let's flip it and do it to the other side. Now on top, we're gonna do the same exact thing. Give it a nice, healthy sprinkling. Wait, what has happened? I ran out. Let's open a new bottle. Yeah, buddy. Fresh smokehouse blend. That's what I'm talking about. Keep that bad boy going. Let's do this. That's what I'm talking about right there. Now, what I like to do is I like to let the meat rest so that I can make sure that it gets up to room temperature. And once it's at room temperature, then what we can do is take it out and put it on the smoker. With Hopper's Homemade, it's just that easy. All right guys, now that we let the meat rest, we're gonna go ahead and put it on the smoker. So let's open it up. Get them in there. Now I like to do the first part by taking the foil off and letting these ribs go right onto the grill. So we just throw them right on the top rack, right in the middle. And we're gonna give it maybe about an hour, hour and a half. And that's at 225. We're gonna come check it and see how they do. We'll see you in a bit. pull these off the smoker we're gonna go ahead and let them rest for a little bit after they rest we're slicing into them and we're eating them pick up that bottle give it a shake it's no mistake it's just so pleasing I can 
can't wait anymore. Let's cut into these and let's eat. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, look at that. That is perfectly cooked. You can even see the smoke ring on it. And I tell you what, with our smokehouse blend, that's going to be delicious. Let's get the rest of these sliced up and put them in a mouth. Look at that. That juice is running down it. Look at how juicy that is, bud. That is the bomb. Look at that. <laughs> That's right, guys. With Hopper's homemade barbecue seasoning, it's just that easy. Now let's eat. That special plan called Smokehouse. Look at that. Love it, no doubt. Want some heat? Mm. Jalapeno oh, food. Mm. Eat more. A time to do it to the trick. Yeah. Hopper's homemade is just that. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Tender and juicy. And I tell you what, that flavor is like no other. <laughs> 